For this week's maintenance video, I've got myself a guest. I've got a bike fit expert and bike fit to the stars in and out of the cycling world. I've got Jake from Precise Performance. Jake, what are we up to today? Alex, um, we're here today to go through some common mistakes that people come into my fit studio with. You know, I don't want to waste anyone's time. Boom, right, let's do it. Right, so Jake, what are the sort of maintenance issues that you're regularly seeing? Because the stuff that I want to go through is aspects that I think people could maybe check or fix on their bike before coming to see someone like you who's doing the bike fit aspect and therefore potentially it could be eaten into the time that you want to spend setting their bike up rather than you trying to fix it. So where do we start first? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, one of the most common places uh, on the bike which I see is, is a problem is see seat posts. Yeah. So seat posts stuck in the frame, so simple that can just be checked before undo the bolt, wind it up, wind it down. If it moves, brilliant. Yeah. We can carry on with the bike fit. If it doesn't, maybe it needs to be uh, released before you yeah. come in. Stuck seat post, worst thing in the world. Oh, Some yes. of them are like literally immovable. Yeah, and I'm not exactly, uh, you know, built. So uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, well, you want to spend your time making bikes fit people better, not fix them. That's what exactly. bike shops are for. Yeah, exactly. Um, does the same apply to any other areas of the bike yeah. you're likely to want to adjust? Maybe like the handlebars or just general conditions of bolts, I guess? Yeah, things things like, you know, stem bolts, things that typically get quite salty, especially if you're doing a lot of turbo training or yeah. you just generally have sweated over those bolts. Making sure that they turn, making sure we don't have to spend all time getting a heat gun on them just yeah. to try and loosen them up and equally not snapping bolts when we come to it as well. Fantastic. So, um, What's the next point that people should maybe consider? Um, a big one is cleats and shoes. And this is something which, uh, cleats and shoes? Cleats yeah. and pedals, yeah, right, Well, maybe yeah. shoes as yeah. well. Um, cleats and, and pedals are something which could actually solve a lot of discomforts or pains that you're actually having anyway. So have a look at your shoes, compare it to a new cleat, whether you look at a picture online or whether you have a new set at home. And just, if they look worn down, just slap a new set on. I tell you what, I'm always wearing cleats out because I spend far more time walking around my cycling shoes. Up the hills, isn't it? Walking yeah. up the hills. <laughs> um, so what are the sort of obvious signs? I guess Shimano are probably a popular cleat that people yeah. are using. They've got the little yellow markers on. Yeah. So quite often, I think, if you've worn down past those, your cleats need to change a while ago. Yeah, if you start wearing down past those, it's probably best just to slap a new set on. You so, know. Our, so we know that cleats are clearly going to wear yeah. out. But can the same be applied to pedals as well? Is that something that wears? Yeah, absolutely. Pedals wear down. You find the spring at the back doesn't sort of engage properly. You get a little bit more movement from sort of in that fl typical float movement. Yeah. Also, you get a little bit of lateral uh, side to side travel as well, which is really not good. For so is that knees. like your foot rocking the direction yeah, you don't want it to move? Exactly. Yeah, kind of rocking from medial to lateral. Yeah. Basically. So yeah. that I guess, if you're finding you're having a, a knee issue, yeah. potentially you could resolve that issue without maybe needing a bike fit or it might be that you do need to have it assessed in greater detail. Yeah, okay. and equally as well, if you're in doubt and you think maybe the pedals are worn down but you still want to go for that bike fit, just slip some new pedals on yeah. and or some new cleats and then we can, again, we're not trying to fix that problem in the bike fit and we okay. can spend more time on the rest of it. What about the front of the bike? Is there anything at the front, maybe on the handlebars, the levers that we see people making mistakes with? Yeah, yeah, I saw this on your bike last time actually. Lever height's different. Well, I've got one key arm, haven't I? Look yeah. at this one. It's all, it's got a bit, you bit of mangles yourself down the road, down the road a few um, times. So yeah, you're saying lever heights. I'm assuming what you mean is they're at different heights? Yeah, different heights and also different angles. Like you might have one angle sticking out or in. Yeah. Um, purely if they've had a crash or it's come out of the factory like that or yeah. come out of a shop uh, or themselves. You know, yeah. it could just be a little bit off. So, so I, I've seen in the past um, when you're building bikes up, sometimes handlebars have little markers on them, yeah. which is like an indicator to try and help you match the levers up. But those marks aren't always exactly right, are they? No, I mean, they've got a lot better than yeah. they used to be. They used to be really, really off. But yeah, I would still, and I do this myself all the time, I just cross-reference it with a, with a tape measure just yeah. to make sure that you are working to the same figure. Okay, so. that's really cool. So I've spoken about the levers on your bike and discussing getting the position sort of right on the front end of your bike. Something I think people should be mindful of are slammed stems, mm. like all the sort of pros have. Yeah. Because what happens if you're going to need to move your stem and someone's cut the steerer down really low? Well, the simple answer is you can't unless you want to go for new forks, which isn't always a cheap option. That doesn't option. sound cheap. No, it's not a cheap <laughs> option. Yeah. And also not always available for certain bikes. I imagine if you've got yeah. an older bike, maybe you can't even Absolutely. get those for and the colour would be different. Exactly. Mm. So then you, if you want it all to match, it's, yeah. it's paint, everything. It gets expensive. Big expense. Or you're running a 
uh, a positive angle stem, which each to their own doesn't necessarily look cool, does doesn't it? Doesn't always look the best, yeah. So no. that's actually a really interesting point, especially if people are going to buy a bike second hand. Be mindful of how yeah. much steerer tube there is left, because like Jake says, if you need to get your position right and there isn't any steerer, you're going to either have to have a funky positive angled stem, yeah. which is fine, but maybe it doesn't look yeah. super cool if you want to be yeah. really fussy about how your bike looks. And again, not always possible in certain models. That's a good point, actually. Integrated stems, fixed cockpits, you yeah. just can't really do it sometimes, you know? So it's, it's something we need to take uh, into account. All right, um, next thing, let's talk about saddles. An aspect which I find sometimes tricky to get right on my bike is knowing what kind of saddle to choose and pick. Now, we did a video all about choosing yeah. the right type of saddle yeah. a while back, but is there a mistake or issue you see with people's saddles? Maybe that it's wonky or something beforehand? Yeah, so let me show you actually on the saddle here. So yeah. what we commonly see is people are complaining of saddle discomfort or you know an issue with an area around soft tissue. And sometimes it's as simple as it's just broken. Yeah. Here. And then oh. what you find is that one side collapses and one leg will then extend more than the other and just creates yeah. a really unstable pelvis. And then, you know, I, injuries. Yeah, that's, <laughs> saddle that's, sores. that's a good point, good. actually. Does the same apply for the saddle rails as well? Because previously, I have had a crash. I've had many crashes. Yeah. And I found that one of the saddle rails has been bent. And then when you looked at the back of the saddle, you could see like one side was sort of drooping down yeah. where the, the rail was bent. Yeah. And I guess, would that lead to potentially like a back discomfort? Sort of yeah, it, it all comes down to if the pelvis is unstable again. Yeah. We're going to link into sort of pain elsewhere. And that could be the back, it could be into shoulders, it could be numb hands, it could be bad knees because there's a, a wonky sort of you know, yeah. listing on the bike yeah. effectively. So yeah, okay. no, definitely something which just looking from behind, looking from the front, just seeing if it's if it's looking a little bit out of place. All right, cool. Um, so those, I think, are some really helpful tips yep. and, and advice to help people get the most out of their bikes, really, mostly to make sure they can resolve any simple issues themselves. Yep. And also that it means if you are, have got an issue and you want to book in and see any sort of bike fitter, maybe even go and see Jake, say hello from us. Um, it means that your bike fit booking and the slot of time you have, yeah. all of your time is spent on getting your position right rather than just fixing maintenance issues. Yeah, no, no bike fitter wants to, wants to be a mechanic yeah. at short notice. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You know. Okay, um, well, that's been really helpful. Thanks for sharing no, your stop. insight on that. Pleasure. Let us know in the comments section down below if you've got any maintenance issues that you've had which have caused a bike fit issue. And um, yeah, if you want to see more maintenance videos like this, and maybe we'll get Jake back again for some more. Um, let us know in the comments section down below. And don't forget, subscribe to GCN Tech for more videos like this. We're out of here. Cool. See ya. Perfect.